All right, everyone, welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. I was gonna go with a different video today, but I don't have enough time to make that, so I'm gonna go with how to mount a multi-gang box. I was gonna make a video about how to make a mount a two-gang box, but I can't, I can't find one in the garage, so this is a four-gang. I don't even have a three-gang, but um, this has nails and it has um, the face nailer option, which is super nice. So if you just wanna screw the box on there, that makes it super nice. Um, I don't know why this has two different options, but um, you can do either way. Uh, the nails are going to be a little bit more solid, um, but it does make it a little bit more tricky. Um, so if you're going with the 5 8 option, if you are new to this, you can um, use these tabs for half an inch. If you are familiar with 5 8 of an inch, you can just leave a little gap, which is probably about right in here. Um, but if you're not familiar with that measurement, then you can use a tape measure and mark this, but it's going to be right about there. Um, and you can do a whole line if you want to, like this. Try to keep it as straight as possible. Um, so that's about 5 eighths of an inch. So if you're doing it that way, <clears throat> you can. that's one way you can do it. Um, I know this is going to be a pretty basic video. Um, so basically just line this up here with your measurement top of the box if you're doing top of the box um, and keep this as level as possible you don't want it to push too far into the wall or too far out of the wall because then it's going to be a problem down the road once you put the sheetrock in or once the sheetrockers mount the sheetrock so this is what it's going to look like right about there right on the line um, i can't really hit this backwards so i'm going to um, do it from this side right here so you guys can still see that I'm just gonna put it on the line again, and then hold it firmly. And one thing I do want to mention, which is the thing that you should know, is when you hit these nails in like this at an angle, sometimes it does push the box down. So be very careful of that. Just hold it firmly in place. So that's <clears throat> probably my only suggestion um, to watch out for if you are doing this install. So yeah, as you can see right there, it just dropped down about a quarter of an inch when I went to hit it. Um, so just gonna get that nail ready at the edge. Same with this one. <clears throat> and then we'll try that again. So line it up on the mark. And then once again, hold it firmly. And as you can see already, it's still moving down. So it's been a while since I've done one of these. If you have a clamp, that would be better, but no one carries around a clamp with them. So just hold it and hit it once really good. There, there you go. So once you got that, make sure it's still lined up before you hit it in all the way, because it is pretty hard to take these out and it is, um, Usually it kind of does break, um, unless you're super careful and know what you're doing, so. So the nail is going through the other side. As you can see, it did drop a teeny bit, um, but sometimes that does go up when you hit the bottom nail in as well. So line it up, make sure it's straight. Don't put your hand on the other side because the nail will poke through. So you don't want to get the nail into your hand. And if you do miss, sometimes these nails will start to bend and sometimes they will break the edge of the box. If, if, the, if you break the plastic on the box, it is garbage. So try not to bend these nails because otherwise you're gonna have to try to straighten it out. It's gonna be a big pain. So hit it as straight as possible. So the nail is flush with the little plastic flange right here. All right, so there you go. Nice and installed right on the line, 5 eighths. Um, if, you do, if you do hit it too hard, sometimes the box will start to bend on the smaller boxes like the two gangs and stuff like that. If you hit it too hard or you hit it too tight, it'll start to bend the box like one direction or the other and then that will not be good for down the road once the sheet rocks in again. Um, all, your, all your plugs will be going uphill or downhill and it'll make the plate super crooked and it'll be pretty much impossible to get the 
um, the wall plate straight. So you wanna make sure this is straight. If it is going uphill or downhill, you can either hit the nail right here to bang it down, or if it's super tight to the wall, um, you can take your screwdriver in here, kinda bang on it right here, and then um, try to straighten that back out. That actually made it worse. See, as you can see now, there is a bow in it, so you can go work it on the bottom, and that'll straighten out a little bit, not quite, a little bit more. So you just basically are trying to pull it out a little bit if it's too tight, so that's still kind of bad, so you get the idea, though. So you can kind of pry on it, stuff like that. This is actually bending the nail a little bit so that's not too bad but you can always wiggle it back and forth but you want it solid at the end of the day so those are my tips for you so hopefully this helped you out this is a lot longer than i expected it to be but you can always put your level on it and make sure it does level but as you can see my box is already kind of bowing right there so that's not good so those are my tips for you so Hopefully you can use some of those. Um, that's all I got for this video. I'm gonna do the uh, electrical terms and definitions for uh, residential tomorrow. Um, I have like 20 or 30 things um, on the list. So I'm gonna have to pr probably either show you the things that I have in the garage or pull up pictures and then insert 30 pictures into the video. So it's gonna take some time to edit that one tomorrow. So. Um, that's why I couldn't get that one out for you guys today. So stay tuned for that video tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. As always, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It would help the channel out. I'd love to see you guys back in the next video. Huge giveaway at 10,000. We're about like 88 away right now. So stay tuned for that. Big, exciting stuff. And then also working on t-shirts and stuff like that. Um, so that'll be like in January probably. My sister's coming down with like a t-shirt maker and I'm looking into the right type of t-shirts and hoodies and stuff to buy so if you guys are interested in that stay tuned i'm probably going to put a poll up on the channel um if you are interested um let me know if you're interested in um, what sizes you guys are so i can get a group order going together if that is the case or i can buy some from the store and get them um, handmade and then shipped out so thank you guys so much um, check the description down below for anything else especially the link tree um, and then hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do the live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless and have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.